Okay, now for us, real quick, I just, I don't know why I put this in here, but just to practice our fractions, I think. This means to do what? Multiply A times B times C. All right, we're multiplying A times B times C. All right, so here we go. We're going to practice <clears throat> negative 2 fifths times 20 over 32 times negative 4 over 10. Everybody agree with that? All right, now the first thing I always try to tell kids is to tell me if it's positive or negative. The answer would be what? Positive. Positive. Oh, wait, no, the answer. It would be what? Positive. Definitely be positive. Is everybody good on this? Two negatives make the positive. All right, so right off the bat, I have nothing to worry about here. Now we have to reduce the fraction. You can cross reduce or you can reduce vertically. All right, just not horizontally. So what can I reduce first? Yes, sir. Very good. So 5 reduces to a 1, and the 20 reduces to a... Right. We're not using a calculator right now because we're practicing. All right. Now what? The 2 and the 32. Yeah. So that's okay. 2 goes into 2 once, and 2 goes into 32 how many times? No, we're, di we're dividing. 2 goes into 32 how many times? Sixteen. Sixteen. Sorry. Sixteen. Wow. Wow. You guys. That was Chloe. YouTube. She's telling me. All right. Sixteen. All right. Now, somebody else tell me what I can reduce. Wow. All right. That was not Chloe. Four goes into four. What? Once. And four goes into sixteen. Four times. Now what? You do. Good job. Now what? Yes, one and two are two. So now my final answer is. Tell me. One over ten. Thank you. One over ten. One over ten. All right. That's why honestly at the beginning. All right, I try to decide which one it is, it's either positive or negative. And then I put it down so um, I don't make that mistake. All right. Now, again, we're going to continue with the odds. All right. So now we're subtracting. All right. So because we are subtracting, we're like distributing a negative one. All right. So if I distribute a negative one, this negative 3x becomes what? Positive, positive 3x. And the negative 8 becomes a positive 8. So now I just have x plus 2 plus 3x plus 8. Well, because I'm multiplied by a negative 1, remember? So I'm going, just to make sure, negative 1 times negative 3. Oh, yeah. Me? Well, if there's not a number, it's a 1. Just like in number four, this is like a what? Negative one. That's just to help me rem to remember that I'm really just multiplying by negative one. All right, so now when I combine like terms, when I combine like terms, what do I have? 1x plus is? That is correct. And then we're combining... The 2 and the 8. 10. Thank you very much. So the answer is just 4x plus 10. All right? So number 5. Come on now. We're really working on positives and negatives. All right? Go ahead, Aiden. I'll let you tell me. When I distribute, what do I get? Exactly. Tell me. Minus 20x, good. Yes, minus 20x plus 5. Minus 20x plus 5. Shh, hold on a minute. Aiden, are you okay with that? 
then you would get negative 24x plus 7. Negative 24x plus 7. You good with this? All right. Now, I'm just going to go around the room, okay? What? Do you know how green number 6 was? It was like a plus or minus. Oh, I don't know. Just erase that question mark. Uh, I, I, I appreciate that. Yeah, it's not supposed to be there. All right. Okay, so number seven. I need help with the distributive property. No, no, we're just going to go around the room. All right. Um, for question number seven. Yosef, what am I doing? And then... But a minus a negative is the same as a what? Come on, buddy. Positive 5x. And then what? Yes, very good. Minus 3. Okay. And then what? Good. Yes, 14x minus 14. Now's your time to ask questions if you're not sure. All right. Now, number nine. Um, Carly, tell me what to do. 2x minus 10. Good job. Okay. Now, simplify that. Now wait a minute. Now you got to be careful on this now. Read this one for me. So 2 minus 4. Negative 2. Thank you. Be careful. Negative 10. Think about your number line, kiddo. Come on. Here's your number line. Here's negative 10. Negative 8 means I'm going this direction. I'm going that direction 8 units. Yes, <laughs> negative 18. See what I'm saying now, right? Negative is direction. Okay, now let's check out number 11. Sorry, Cora, I skipped you. Number 11, go. Just distributing, yes. 6. Yep, so it's 6 times 1. 6s, and then? Yes, 6s plus 60. Carmen, you're up, number 13. Now you're distributing a negative 5. You're just multiplying now. No, wait. Five times three is all you're doing. You see what I'm saying, right? Negative 15. All right, then you're doing negative five times negative B. So a negative times a negative is always a positive. And then that's all there is. Come on now, speak up now if you're not with me. Or if you're not sure. Please pay attention. You good? You understand? I don't want you writing it down. I want you to understand. All right, 15. All right, 15, we have our first fraction. All right, so this still is a 1, right? So 2 fifths times 1 is still what? So we're going to write 2 fifths S. Okay? Now, come on now, I have to do 2 fifths times 20. First of all, it's going to be positive or negative, guys. It's going to be a positive. All right, so if you want to, you can go 2 times 20, which is 40, and then divided by, which is 8. So 2 fifths S plus 8. 
Now, the other way you can do it is to divide first. 20 divided by 5 is 4. 4 times 2 is 8. Everybody good? All right. So let's check out 17. All right. Miss Connor, you're up. 17, what would that be? No, we're not dividing. We're just multiplying. Boom. Negative 2 what? Good. And then, you, you, for whatever reason, in your head, you're dividing. What is it? Yeah, positive 16. Everybody okay with this? All right, Mia, you're up. Beautiful. No, you're right. One H, because you're multiplying. One times one. That's right. Minus what? Minus five. Everybody okay with this? What? All right. Here we go. Layton, you're up. 21. There's another, I don't know why that is there. Right. Okay. So, um, you do a negative 8 times 5, so you negative 30. Good. And then you do negative 8 times x, and you get negative 7. Uh, it's going to be negative. It's going to be positive. Negative. Yeah, it is negative. I'm right, sorry. Negative times a negative, yeah. so it's what? So positive, uh, it's negative 40, 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 All right, 23. Okay, now I really don't mind if you use a calculator, it's not a big deal. All right? Except when we get to the fractions. All right? Go ahead, Thomas, you're up. Right? Negative 16. 16 what? Yes, negative 16c. No, you gotta distribute. Come on, Thomas. This times this, then you gotta do this times this. So go on your calculator 16 times 45, okay? Just someone tell me what 45 times negative 16 is. Negative 720. Is everybody okay with this? Negative 720. Don't worry about it, Thomas. What? That's right. That's exactly right. There's a multiplication sign in between there. All right. Everybody okay with that? Thomas, you're good, right? All right. Next, 25. Yep, 5.3x. You know what that is? I think you're right. Plus 58.3. Do I go with this? All right, let's check out 27. Okay, so 27. It says, a swimming pool is bordered on all sides by a tiled deck. What is the perimeter of the pool? All right, what is the perimeter of the pool? All right, so this is what we want. All right, I want this is, I think, what they're asking for. So pay attention now so we can see this. All right, I want the perimeter of this. 
this here, from here to here, from here to here, and from here to here. I want the perimeter. So what am I going to do? What's perimeter mean to do? Add up all the sides, right? So now I want someone to tell me what is uh, this length right here? 4x Very nice. 4x minus 6. What's the length on the left side? 2x. All right, so I want someone to find the perimeter for me. What would the perimeter be? Now look up and see if you did that. Does everybody see that? Does everybody see that's the perimeter, do you agree? Right? Yeah. Do you understand that? Yeah. Yeah, we added them all up. There's how many 4x minus 6s? How many 4x minus 6s? Two. Two. That's why I have 4x minus 6 and 4x minus 6. And then there are how many 2x's? 2x and 2x. Am I agreeing with me? Well, add the x's up. What do you get? How many x's? 12 x, exactly. So the perimeter is 12 x, and then when you add the numbers, what do you get? No, no, negative 12. I like that. So the perimeter is 12x minus 12. Can you combine the x and the 12? No, because they're different. You can't combine variables and numbers. You can only combine the same variables. Is everybody okay with that? All right, Justice, you get to do, you get to read to me 29. What does it say? So the perimeter of a triangular-shaped amphitheater is 100x plus 90 yards. The length of the two sides of the amphitheater are 45x minus 10 yards, 25x plus 50 yards. What is the length of the remaining side? Uh oh. So I want everybody to do this. I want everybody to draw a triangle amphitheater. So here's my triangular amphitheater. And two sides are 45x minus 10. And the other side is what? 25x plus 50. I don't know what this side is. But I know that the perimeter is what? 100x plus 90. I want someone to try to tell me what the third side is. What's the third side? Come on. What's the perimeter? Oh, just No, 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 no. Come on. What's the perimeter? How many X's are involved? Yeah. No. Yeah. What's the perimeter in with respect to X? There are what? 100 X, right? Come on, now look up so I can show you. Because this is the important one. Right now, the perimeter is what again? 100 X, right? So far, I have how many? Which is how much? How much? 70x. That's right. I have so far 70x. So I need another what? 30. 30. So that's what this is. 30x. Right. Come on now, because why? 45 plus 25 plus 30 has to equal what? 100. You know what you're doing. All right, now, the number has to add up to what? The number has to add up to 90. So once somebody tell me what the other number is. Why did you say... 
Would it be what? Why? So right now, please look. Right now I have negative 10 plus 50. What's negative 10 plus 50? 40. I need it to be what, though? I need it to be 90. So it has to be what? 50. That's a good way of thinking about it. Right? Diesel, you good on that? Everybody take a quick look at that again. Make sure you see that. That's that's the hard problem. All right, that's the hard problem. All right, practice that. All right. All right, here we go. Number 31 is really important also, guys. It says, a veterinarian recorded the weight of each dog that he examined. All right, here are their weights. Okay. How do I find the average? What would I do? Right, right. So what we're going to do on this one is, if we're going to find the average, I want everybody to do 18 and 1 fourth plus 29 and 1 half plus 48 and 3 fourths plus what? W, and then I'm going to divide it by what? How many? How many dogs are there? Four, there you go. That would be the answer. All right. However, I want you to go ahead and combine this for me real quick. So take out your calculator. Well, you probably don't really need a calculator, but I'll let you use a calculator. Add those three weights up for me real quick. Ninety-six and a half. All right. Yeah. Yeah, I got ninety. So it'd be ninety-six and one half plus W divided by four. That's what I want you to do. That's the answer. No, that's it right there. That's the answer. Oh, yeah, you're holding expression. Everybody okay with this? What? Yes. Yes, of course. Add them up because we're learning to combine like terms. Add the numbers. All right? All right, here we go. Let's check out 33. Yeah, I don't think this one's a big deal. They're, they're, they're just trying to get you to see that you're what? You're combining like terms. You're adding things up. And what did you get when you added that? Yeah, you don't, that's just mental math. So it would just be $40. All right, they're just adding it up. Don't make it too complicated. All right? Justice, have you done a problem yet? No way. All right, so you are up. You're going to do 35 for me. Combine terms. Yes. It would just be what? 3x plus 3x. Wait a minute. Wait a minute here, buddy. All we're doing is what? Oh, 4x. Right. That's it. So that's just, don't be sorry. 4x what? Beautiful. That's the answer. 4x plus 4. Very good. All right, Ian, you're up. 37. What do I have to do on 37, though? Okay, so you... Combine my terms. But first, you have to do what, though? Uh, On number 37. Yeah, There's a distributive property. Yeah, okay. okay, so. So, MN plus what? Uh, plus Say it. Plus six. six, right? Because you're multiplying. So, be plus 6MN, and then what? Then we do minus one. Wait, no. You're multiplying. You're multiplying this times this, and then this times this. Oh, that's right. What type of 12? Yeah. Negative 12. Look at that, guys. You with me? Now, this right here in front is a what?
a 1. Agree? So when you combine terms, what do you get? That's right. 7mn minus 12. Yes. No. No. What? That means I'm what? That means I'm wrong. And have you ever known me to be wrong? Yes. Never have I been wrong. Ever. Hey, listen. What I'm telling you. Before you add, you have to multiply. You with me? So you have to distribute first. Do you hear me? That was a good question. But distribute before you add. Right. You have to do the distributive property. Okay. So 35, the correct answer was 4x plus 4. All right, 39, here we go. Bradley. Good. That's your answer. All right, now notice what I did. If you put 13x minus 4 minus 7y, is it still correct? Yes, but just traditionally we'll put the letters before we put the numbers. Okay, and you put them in alphabetical order. Thank you. All right, so combine like terms. The ones we could combine are the 4x and the 9x, which makes 13x. Everybody happy with that? Okay, 41. Okay, tell me what to do. You have to distribute first. Oh, okay. So five times one is five. So two x. Oh, I forgot. I used to do that. So it'd be five times one is five. What type of five? Five x. Do you understand why it's negative 5a? Oh, yeah. And then this times this would be what? Now, are you sure? Yes. Okay. Hey, come on, guys. What, what, what do you have his iPad for? Do you understand that now? Come on, it's getting a little bit harder now. So this is the time where you need to kind of stay with me. So now, what do I have? Final answer. Uh, Good. Negative 3a minus 5. All right, Coleman, let's see how you do with 43. Now, these, I don't, and, and again, all we're doing is combining terms, right? Now, are all, do all these have an N in them? Yeah. Yeah, so we can just combine them. All right? So, to me, I'd probably add these together first. Uh-huh. Right, so I'm just doing negative 55N plus 56n minus 1n, right? So it's just what? It's just 0. All right, please verify that. Everybody agree it's 0? If you put 0 in, it would be okay. But no, n would be 1n. Okay. All right, Carter, you're down there on the floor. Read to me 45, buddy. What do I do first? That's right. What do I get? No. You're distributing a negative five. Yeah, so negative five. Negative five what? No, negative 5 times C is negative 5 what? Oh, negative 5 C. Good. And then negative 5 times positive D. Negative 5 times positive D. Negative 
Yes. Now write the rest of it. Negative 4D plus 5C minus D. Now combine C's. What happens to the C's? Read the C's to me. So what happens to the C's? Yes, they do in fact cancel. All right, make sure you're with me. Those guys cancel. All right, so now count up the D's. Which is a total of? Yes, thank you. Negative 10D. Does anybody have any questions with that? What's the matter, Aiden? Oh, wait. We did that. Oh, I, I thought the Okay, what? No, 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 no. You, you can't. It'd be difficult, honestly, for me to look at 45 and just say the answer is negative 10D. Don't do all that again. All right. Um, Yosef, you're up. Number 47. Well, we're adding them, right? Read it. 4x minus 3x. You agree with that? Which is what? 1x. And then? Which is what? Negative 3 plus 1. Come on. Yes, negative 2. Everybody happy with 47? What? Yes, we're going in order. You're up. 49. Tell me the answer. Wait, are we on 49? Yeah. That's okay. Good job. One Chloe, are you with me? You with me? Because one X, right? If you're not sure, make sure you put a one there. All right, keep going. Chloe, 51. Now try to do the X's first. Good. Is what? Come on, four minus five. One. Negative one. I don't want you guessing. Just relax and tell me. Four minus five is what? Negative one minus eight. What are you? Yes. What are you doing? Come on. Come on. Concentrate. That's why I was fussing at you. Negative nine x. All right, does anybody have any issue with that being negative 9x? 4 minus 5 minus 8. All right, now combine the numbers, and what do I get? 1 plus 22 plus 3. Yes, brilliant. Plus 26. Everybody good with this? Okay. I need... Um, 53 is what? Exactly. And so? Yeah, same thing. Negative x plus 5. All right, be careful. All right, 55. Sunshine, you're up. 
Ouch. Ooh, that was a good one. That was a good one. All right. Tell me now. Be careful. Read this one. Now, personally, I think it's easier if we just do this first. What's that? That's right. So now I have negative 15x plus 5x. What is that? Think about it. Very good. Negative 10x. Okay, so now let's look at the numbers. Here, here, and here. Now, um, I like to start off with the positives. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right, so is it positive 9 or negative 9? Mm -hmm. Right, so now it's negative 9 plus 9. Now, let me, before you say something, listen to me. Look up on the board. If I ask you negative 9 plus 9, I wish you would know that that means the same as 9 minus 9. Yes. You see what I'm doing? Like if, if you, I like to read the positives first because in my head it's easier to do that. You with me? 9 minus 9. So your answer is just negative 10x. Okay. So now we're doing what we, we left off what we did yesterday. So, uh, 57. What's common with 20 and 8? 4. Now, is there a common B? Yes. Yes. So the answer is 4B. All right. Maya, you're up. 59. Mia, I'm sorry. <laughs> Here we go, Mia. Tell me about 36 and 90. What goes into 36 and 90? 3 does. So then that would be 12 and that would be 30. So what goes into 12 and 30? Three. Three again. So that'd be four and 10. Two, good. You read now, right? So here we go. What is this now? No, no, you're multiplying. Three times three times two. What is it? 18. Now, what variable is common? 18x. Beautiful. All right. Now, what? Are y and z common? No, that's why we lived them out. We only found what was common. You hear me? You're All right, what time is the bell ring? One minute. Okay, so listen, guys. Uh, try to do the odds. Try to finish up the odds. All right, try to finish up the odds. A lot of them at the end is just practicing your math facts. Now, again, I don't really want you to use your calculator if somebody says what's like 6 minus 10. All right, we're not doing that. <laughs> Remember, Ted.